Hi everyone, welcome back. Tracy here and this is Crochet Rocks and I've got um, a little bit of a yarn um, video that I've just filmed. Some new to me yarns, some brand new yarns and some restocky yarns and it's all James C. Brett and that will pop up yesterday, <laughs> probably yesterday afternoon, early evening, that sort of time. So if you haven't seen that one, give it a watch. But I've also got some other new yarns coming. I've got a signet order that was a day late that should be coming or um, probably be up tonight, maybe for you guys. And then I'll have a King Cole order coming. Um, and so that will be uh, a few days, I guess, anytime after tomorrow. They might send it because I've already kind of, they've already told me it was waiting. Okay, so let's have a look at my little book. We had a very dark one yesterday. Ah, oh, you know what we got. You know what we got. That don't seem right. Have I pulled off too many? Where are we? No, I haven't. It's double grey goo day. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? That looks like someone's foot. It's not a foot, is it? It is. It's a foot. Ooh. <laughs> Whose feet are they? Well, it might be a hand. It does look like a foot. It's probably a hand. Got to be, surely. Well, there's someone's stinky feet on there, would they? Looks like a foot. Someone's hands look like feet, which is just a horrible thing. Okay, double Grogu day. Got to love a double Grogu day. So if I get interrupted, it'll be the postman. So I will obviously then have to stitch my videos together. I've got my glasses on because I've just been filming that yarny video. I've got to read those yarn bands. Okay, um, this is um, one that's in a box. I've got this one in, a, in a, a bubble. I like putting these kind of things on my thumbnails sometimes. They're cool. Okay, mum. Hang on. All the fibres flew when I shook one. My son asked me if he could go bungee jumping friend what did you say no friend why i don't want him to go out the same way he come in <laughs> with a cord. how's that broken rubber i thought they meant the cord no irony 101 people who say they sleep like a baby don't have a baby but i always say that what is the point of saying so like a baby when they wake up every four hours for food or screaming their blooming tits off. So like a baby don't compute to me. Let's do the whole page, shall we? Mum, I'm going to be just like you when I grow up and say bad words and eat French fries two at a time. I don't. I eat them one at a time. Not that I eat them at all anymore. A woman gets on a bus with her baby. The bus driver says, oh boy, that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. The woman, very insulted, goes and sits down. The guy next to her asks what's wrong. She tells him that stupid driver just insulted me. The man says, march up there and tell him off. Go ahead, I'll hold that sick dog for you. <laughs> oh, that is me. I love the picture on this one. <laughs> That's really mean. However, you know, sometimes I know I can't. I, I, this is a horrible thing, but many years ago, I was very young, and um, we had a masonette at the woman next door, and her friend, the other side. They're both friends, and they're both young mums. Um, both had babies, and um, the one on the hang on, so I'm, the one on the left hand side of me. She had a really cute baby boy. It was lovely. And like a little while later, the one on the right side of me, she had a baby. And um, I'll never forget her, her man. He was kind of a cool guy, but he was really tall, very thin and had a long kind of face, but long hair. And he was kind of, he wasn't unattractive in his, you know. Anyway, she showed me, she said, oh, do you want to see the baby? I said, yeah, yeah. And I kind of looked in and I just thought, oh. And I think the initial reaction of everybody betrayed, oh, isn't he lovely? Betrayed, really, 
Um, now this baby was very long, very thin, had a very short, like narrow head with a great big red lumpy birthmark on top that looked like a light bulb. And it was a shock seeing the baby. You know, you expect a chubby round, um, gummy kind of baby, don't you, like everybody else? But you don't expect to kind of look in and see what looked like a swan vest to match. You know, it was, and I just, I think everybody's reaction would have been silence at first. Ah, oh, isn't it lovely that silence is the thing that kind of betrayed the whoa reaction, you know, because most people would have had a whoa reaction, you know, when seeing him, it was poor little thing. And as he grew older, his bump on his head got bigger and bigger. Not that we were there that long um, after that. And they got moved as well um, to another place. But we, I had this, I had, when we first got together, I don't think we were even married. Um, we, me and my ex had this council mason. That was the worst thing that I've ever lived in. Seriously, it was like a zoo. A zoo of zoo people, you know, just really odd bods and misfits of society lived there. And me, who, <laughs> whose tolerance level was like breaking point and I got so stressed living there it was such a stressful time that I seriously I kid you not that my monthly curse stopped because I was so stressed out all the time and finally we we were just we were promised a hundred percent mortgage and we got let down every house we kind of went to buy they let us down and then all of a sudden they, we were plummeted into a recession and they stopped doing 100% mortgages. And so, I mean, back then, properties weren't really expensive. You know, my first house cost me 20500 which is laughable now. You could buy cars that cost way more than that. But you probably could then, but, um, you know, but they would have been Lamborghinis or something. But now, probably just any car, to be honest. But, yeah, so I mean kind of just like no what we? so we kind of went to the, the the bank and they said save up for six months just six months so we saved and saved and saved for six months just as we were gonna move my other half lost his job they all got laid off and made redundant it was like <laughs> destined to stay oh explosion in this place so um luckily um people at the, the job centre because he was registered disabled he had a hand injury and they um they got him a job straight away and thankfully the building society that we were with at the time accepted it and we was able to move but oh once we got out of there that was such a relief such a massive relief and um you know when they say new house new baby the minute I moved in I was pregnant it was <laughs> just really really weird and um I, I did lose that baby but straight away I got pregnant again and I had Paul so that was that was the story of my very uh young kind of how did I get from a baby with a bump on its head to the saga of my move honestly we were let down with five houses there was a an old lady who put a house on the market just so people would come around and say how lovely it was, but she had no intention of selling. And we found that out um, after a while and got let down. There was another one in the same road. We thought we liked these houses so much, they were little bungalows. So we went for that one. It turns out she put the house on the market. Her husband was an oil rig worker. He was away and he didn't even know she put it on the market. So that got took off. Then we found one around the corner from where we were actually living. And it was a councillor, you know, like a, a member of the, the not like one that counsels you when you've got problem, but one that works on the council. And she was a total nut job, absolute lunatic. And she said she didn't need a mortgage, but she lied and then she couldn't get one. So that was another one that went down the pan. There was a few others. And so we began to think that, you know, we were like jinxed and never ever gonna get out or find anywhere that we could move to. But thankfully we did in the end. But it was an awful place to live. I can't can't tell you how awful it was, but one night, and this was like sleepy blooming Kent, you know, things don't happen. 
we had in front of us a big row of houses which we saw all their back gardens and there was a guy with a shotgun out there one day shooting it off and nobody had guns in the UK then I mean you hear gun crime now a little bit but you know nobody was toting guns then there was a woman who had a horse in the back garden and I don't mean in a, in a good way you know it was just a, a pile of ugh. and uh, you know it was just as it was a zoo I told you it was, it was a zoo it was awful absolutely awful one day I was sitting there and all of a sudden someone walked in and I looked around it was this little girl and um I said to her hello she was very pretty anything could have happened to her it could have been anyone and she said hello have you got any money I said well, not really why she went I want some sweets <laughs> so, candy I said um why don't you ask your mummy and she said well she hasn't got any at the minute or she's gone out and I said oh and he, she said have you not got any money then and I said well no not really she went go down the social like my mum does they always give her money I said oh um can't do that really <laughs> we had jobs so I was, <laughs> in the end I went hang on I might have some sweets somewhere I gave her some sweets she sat down and had a good old chat with me and then she left and I remember thinking you know you can't just now can you imagine it was just being like a kid who just walks into your house and has a chat with you and could be anybody couldn't you you could just be like oh don't bear thinking about but yeah, it was a very weird place I'm so glad I got out of there but yeah I was very young then <laughs> probably not even probably not even 20 then I might have been just 20 well it was only a couple of years ago I know but yes um, bizarre place absolutely bizarre place so I sat there and did quite a bit of the Boggy Creek last night and it's now quite a size but um what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I need to get a new cake. And I don't know whether to introduce some new colours because obviously when you're going around that cake, you just get a section of each colour. So you could, if you wanted to, bring in another one with different colours because it wouldn't make any difference. But at the same time, I don't think I have any. No. So that would be a big drawback. I should have brought it in and showed you, but it's in the living room where I was sitting there watching i uh, catching up with my soaps i was working till really late last night and um i i was you know i had to pack my orders as you know and then i kind of made dinner with gary and then i had another order come in so i went out and packed it so that it could go and then i came in and i did my postage and then i uploaded all my products that i'm just gonna that i showed yesterday I thought I might as well get them on then. So I did all that. And then I looked and I got another order. But I, it was then too late to, to add it to the postage for today. So, yeah, I kind of didn't stop until like, really kind of late in the evening. By which time Gary had gone to bed. And I thought, you know, it'd be long gone, actually. I thought I'd watch the soaps. So I ended up watching those. And then when I got to bed, I couldn't sleep. I guess I was just too jazzed up after doing too much work in the evening and waking myself up so I, I kind of went into um the boggy creek live stream but I didn't stay long I thought I must try and get some sleep so I did and uh and another thing I couldn't get into I've got this new phone it should be here somewhere it was here here it is so it is just an iPhone it's exactly the same as my phone and I was having a bit of problems transferring all my stuff over to it. And when I the the device I'm actually using now is my, another older new phone. And when I got that, I was going to switch it over, and it didn't work um, as well as I wanted it to. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep my phone. I love that phone, and I do. I, there's nothing wrong with my phone. It's perfectly fine. But this is like an upgrade of four years now, or four, you know. So I mean, the battery on my phone is still great. I had the Pro Max, this big old thing. But um, the camera and everything in this is so much better that I wanted this to be my phone. So that when I go and take photos or when I go out and I'm doing stuff, I've got better technology that does it. But it, it didn't take my number. 
It just won't. It won't take me on. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and ring Sky later, but I've got a busy day because although I don't normally do this, I'm recording this in the morning because I've got Posty coming, collect the parcels. Um, I do have that order coming, but I've got to dash over to Mike and take him some boxes and tape and bubble wrap and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I've got a very busy morning. So I figured, you know, just in case things go on a little bit longer, I'll record it now. And if he knocks, then I'll just end up pausing it and going back and then I'll have to, to stitch together again. I remember my oh, Wallace and Gromit then. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit, man. <laughs> and Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> oh, why did they do that? Thanks, Gromit. <laughs> the way they have their teeth <laughs> anyway last night another thing I was doing because I couldn't sleep I decided to put all of my members details into a book so I'm not talking about subscribers I'm talking about channel members and um so I've got some of you I've got some of you's addresses and maybe birthdays of some have given them to me so i've got that and i'm trying to collate it into a little book because i i want to get some nice christmas cards and send them off to you so i have a few so if you're one of my members and you haven't seen the video for the member video that i did asking for that info can you please send it to me i mean if you don't want to be involved that way that's fine i mean a lot of my members decide that you know i, I did a little video the other day seeing what they wanted to get out of my memberships and they all said not really much, just just it has bought you really. Um, so yeah, I I mean there's a couple of top higher tier ones where I will send some happy mail, but um, I can't do that without the addresses. And um, so yeah, please send it to me. That's just a little um, thing for members, not 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 subscribers. It's members is different. Um, last time I asked, I got loads and loads. <laughs> it was just like wrong ones, but never mind. Um. I weighed myself. I've lost one more pound. So probably two to you guys, because I don't think I told you about the last one. <clears throat> this is annoying. I didn't think it was going to be this colour. It said champagne, but it's almost like a white. But I usually have blue or black. Well, one of them that I chose was red. This is an old one. Nice and thin. Great for recording open with me's and tutorials, this one. Because it is so thin and it takes the the these are just on the cusp of being too heavy for the gimbal i know the other one oh, i can't it's not, i'm using it it this might be a bit heavier so um using it as my phone is a far better idea because i never use my phone to record why because even if you put it on do not disturb it gets disturbed sometimes and um, I've done that in the past where I've been recording a video and I'll have to pause or it pauses because I've got a call come through. And then after that, when I try and record after that, I look like the, the viewfinder looks like I'm recording, but I'm stuck like this. And then my voice just carries on with a frozen picture and it could be me going or any any frozen picture that might look quite um, unnerving. You know, it could be that. At that precise moment, I could have got a call. And that might have done it. And then forevermore, you'll see me like this and you won't be getting it out of your head. So, um, yeah, not a good thing. So I don't use it for that. Um, for that reason. It's messed up a few times. Did it on a live as well? Messed up. <laughs> no end. Long while ago. So I haven't done it a lot, you know, since. I've never really used my my actual phone although the one that i do use is a phone but thankfully no one has a number of it it's just my standby in case of power cut phone because it's got a good lot of good chunk of data that i can fall back on um i keep thinking about getting rid of it but you know if i do it's winter isn't it <coughs> you know what will happen power cut although you know i would get in the car 
go sit in Weatherspoons or go around Martins and use the internet and upload there. Did, I used to use, I've, in the past I've had Michael around the corner that I could use if it's not part of it. Martin, I just go and sit in a in a pub and have a coke and you know do it there. It has been known. Anyway, um, not got much else to tell you this morning because obviously it's the beginning of the morning and I'm not a lot, not a lot has happened to me. I'm not very hungry today, so that's a good thing. But um, it it creeps up on me actually when I do low carb. I find that one minute ago I'm really not hungry today. Oh, I'm starving now. Why did I say it? Weird, weird the way that happens. Last night it was really dark in here, and I thought I'd accidentally turned off my my Wi-Fi, but I didn't. The blue light is on. It's really weird, but it's pitch dark in here. Maybe next door's security light wasn't on or something. But yeah. So we had a good chat yesterday, Lee and I, about cats. Because um, I had to take in a couple of parcels for her. And she didn't get a card through the door. So she just, on the off chance, came to see if we had them. And we did. So um, we were talking about all the cats <laughs> in the neighbourhood. Long conversation about how there's a cat across the road called Thomas. And he's the image of Fluffy. Well, he used to be, but he's more, he's darker than her now. She's gone lighter. <clears throat> and he won't leave me alone. As soon as he sees me, he runs to me for a strokey. And I think he wants me to feed him. And, and he's he's all over me. But he hisses. <laughs> and he's, she's actually wary of him because he, he goes for her. How weird is that? Yeah, she is the cat lady. She's got lots of cats and she's good to cats. But Thomas... Not keen on her. Whether um, it's one of the cats that don't like Thomas and it's made him wary or not, I don't know. But it's like he won't leave me alone, but he just wants to attack Lee. A bit weird, really. Anyway, I'm going to get off on that note. Cats. Meow. Oh, fluffy lately. What's up, meow? Thomas has a very long meow, funny enough. He almost seriously goes like this. goes, meow. It's like really long. You think, okay, <laughs> give it up. It's weird, isn't it, cats? We used to have one called um, Norris, and she had this meow. Seriously, she went, Ew! she had like a craggy, craggy, Ew! funny noise she used to make. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you wanted to know about the, but Fluffy's got a lovely, delicate, Ew! but she, lately she's been naggy, you know. She wants to go out all the time. All the time. She wanted to go out last night, but I didn't put her out. Uh, after she'd eaten, she's like, let me out. I was like, mm, no, you can go out in the morning. The first thing she heard was the, of me moving about. Meow. So out she goes. She just runs to the door, which is good. You know, she doesn't go far. She just sits on the deck in and, you know, sort of sits there and commands the garden. It's my territory, but she's she's happy enough. So that's all right. Anyway, I'm going to get off and I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to watch out for all my yarny videos. I've got lots of squishies, lots of squishies to show you. And um, I'll do another whippy video soon and you can see just how big um, this has got. I also need to sort out what yarn I'm going to use for the border of the other one and get to grip on my squares. And then, sorry, I <laughs> sight of myself doing it again but obviously I wasn't doing that but it just <laughs> bye Gromit see you later <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I'm just being silly bye for now guys see you soon